Today we're going to install a double seal on an LF pump. We're going to do a complete uninstall and reinstall of the seal. These are all the tools that you will need. You use your rubber mallet and loosen the wing nuts to take the cover off. the cover and set that aside. Take off your guard. We use this tool to put into the stub shaft to hold it in place. And then we can uninstall the or not. And then we can remove the impeller. Next you need to remove the key. Just gently push back on the drive collar and lift it out. Next, you want to get the drive collar out. You can use a tool and get behind it with a pick and pull out the drive collar. Next, we need to use two three quarter inch wrenches loosen the cinch bolt on the casing. Then we can uninstall the casing. Gently pull it off so you don't hit the shaft on the way out. There's your seal there and it can be pushed out from the back. There's your seal. And you can set this aside. There's an O-ring on the shaft that you need to take off. And there's a spring in the back. And there's behind two pins. Now you need to turn the spring so that it comes away from the pin. And there's one. And there's the second one. And here's the seal. And there are all the seal parts and the double seal. Here's the new seal. This is how it is as it comes in the box. So we'll unpackage everything. seal parts. It gives you two gaskets. You only need one, depending on what size impeller nut you have. Now to reinstall it, you need to take this gasket off, or this O-ring off rather, and you can start reinstalling the parts together. One O-ring goes on the back of the drive collar. A spring goes inside the drive collar. A metal ring goes inside the collar. And then this ring that you took off of there goes inside there. Now we can set that aside for a minute and we can start installing the other parts. This, the thicker wave spring goes on the pump behind those two pins. We can put that on now. So you push one, the pin through one of them.
and start to turn the spring. And it's behind both pins. Now we'll work. We take the, the double seal with a little lubrication I'm using silicon based food grade grease. We put a little lubrication on the seal, on the o ring. There's an o ring inside there that I lubricated. Push that over the shaft and onto the two pins, and it just rests on there. Now we can take this, the drive collar, and lubricate. the inner part of this o-ring and put some on the, the rotating seal and that goes in like that and you should be able to feel the spring pushing in and out like that now that's ready to be installed Of grease. Next we can install the stationary into the into the casing. There's two o-rings on there. We want to lubricate both of those. Just nice and low layer all the way around. Flat edges on the seal that have to line up with the flat edges on the casing. You push it in and it sticks, sticks out just a very gentle amount. Now that's installed all the way. Now you can take your stub shaft Loosen the collar and push your stuff shaft back. This is the easiest way to install the seal is to set the stub shaft last. Now I can push the casing on and it won't push out my seal out of the casing because there's space behind there. I can gently loosen, re-loosen the, the shaft and just pull it forward till it touches, but does not push the seal out of the casing. Now here's the tricky part, is to push this back in to gen apply gentle pressure on the, the back seal. Okay, I've used a pry bar just to gently push while watching this pin right down here so that it just engages in the pin slightly. And then I retighten the seal up. I retighten the collar up so it doesn't, the shaft won't move. Now we can take the O-ring that goes on the shaft and install that. Then we can put the seal and drive collar back on that we installed the seal. And then I install the key by pushing back on the collar and compressing the spring. And the key drops in. Now I'm ready to put the impeller on. And the nut with the new gasket that was provided in the seal kit. The other gasket is for a smaller impeller nut. Whichever one you get is the one you need to use. You'll have one extra piece in your seal kit. I'll put a little lubrication on it. It will hold it in place.
keeps the O-ring from gasket from falling off. Now you can tighten up, hold the shaft with your bar. And then you can install the 20,000 shim behind the Impeller to the volute, and then you can tighten the collar. And torque it. And the seal turns, the pump is good. Last thing we can do is re level the casing. Tighten the cinch bolt. And the seal's reinstalled. Now you're ready to put the cover back on. And install all the wing nuts. So this is how you uninstall and reinstall an LF double seal. I hope this was helpful.